What do you call somebody with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. Today, we're talking about three tips, three things that you need to do to be able to buy a house in 2021. Um, I know with the new year coming around, a lot of people's goals are to be able to buy a house. It's a new year resolution that they have. They want to accomplish that. Whether you're a first time home buyer, or you're looking to move up or move down, here to help you with those. So first thing you want to do, believe it or not, buying a house costs money. So make sure you're saving extra money, um, cutting costs that you already have right now to save up that extra money. Even though we do have access to zero down programs, and we do have low, low down payment programs as well, it still costs money. You've got your inspection that you've got to pay for. You've got earnest money you've got put down. Um, on some houses, there's going to be closing costs and fees associated with it, appraisal fees, different things like that, right? So it's going to cost money. That amount varies depending on your situation, whether you are a first-time home buyer or somebody who's already bought a home. Um, so we can talk with you about that, let you know exactly where you need to be with that budget. Um, and that's the other point that I want to bring up. Point number two is decide on how much money you want to spend. Too often I meet with buyers and they're just like, oh, well, how much do I qualify for? How much can I buy? We get them that number and they see the overall purchase price amount and they're like, great, I can buy a house that I'm going to love. And then when we give them the detailed breakdown of what it's going to cost them per month, sometimes they're surprised and they're like, oh man, even though I qualify for that much, I don't want to spend that much. I don't have that in my budget. I don't want to be house poor. I don't recommend that you're house poor. We want to make sure that you're fitting your mortgage payment comfortably within your budget. So that's point number two, decide on how much you want to spend per month. If you tell me that number, hey, Chris, I want to spend $1,400 a month. I want to spend $1,800 a month. I want to spend $3,000 a month. Then we can tell you, okay, based on how much you want to spend a month, here's what purchase price you should be looking at. Again, it varies from buyer to buyer. I know there's a lot of mortgage calculators online, but all of that depends on what your interest rate's gonna be, what your credit score is, what your debt to income ratio is, right? There's a lot of factors that go into that. Talk to us, we can help you with those decisions. And that brings me to point number three, that is select an agent. Find somebody that you know, trust, that you like, that you get along with, that can walk you through the process one step at a time. Buying a home for most Americans is the biggest financial investment you'll ever make in your life. It's a big decision. You want to make sure that you're working with somebody that you trust and that you know is going to take care of you and put your interests ahead of their own, right? That's what it means to be a fiduciary. For me to put your interests ahead of my own so that you're in a good situation in the near future so that your family can enjoy the home and you can enjoy the home and love it. And also, you know, in the future, future, I guess, right? <laughs> so that you guys are making good, sound financial investments that'll make it so that you can invest in real estate in the future, be able to walk away with a lot of equity when you finally are ready to move on from that house. So quick recap, three things, save money, earn extra money, do whatever you can to put money in the bank and have that savings. Number two, decide how much you want to spend on a home. It's much easier to base your decision on your purchase price off of what you want your monthly budget to be, not off of what you want the overall purchase price to be or how much do I qualify for. And then thirdly, select an agent. We'll help walk you through all of these things as well as more as you go through the process because there's a lot that goes into it that we can help you with. Thanks.